Hey Tiger fans, Ben Rosenbaum here as the Towson Sports Network continues its coverage of Lacrosse Media Day, joined by head men's lacrosse coach Sean Natalin. Coach, coming off a CAA win, you got a couple of days of practice now. What are your impressions so far of the team? It's been fun. You know, the guys have come back with a very competitive mindset. Uh, I feel like they put a lot of work in, um, definitely over the fall, which we saw, but during the winter to come back in, in, in pretty good shape with their sticks, you know, tuned up about as good as they could, you know, to come back ready to go. Um, you know, we've had six days of practice so far, and the guys have been competing at a high level, and um, the ball's been off the ground quite a bit, which is a good thing. You guys named three captains recently in Tyler White, Ben McCarty, and Brian Bulawicki. Tell us about those guys and how the decision came to name those guys the captains. Yeah, well, we kind of took the fall to assess, you know, who we were as a program, continuing to, to try to develop and um, increase, you know, our ability to, to be productive and to grow our program. Um, through that, you know, we try to see naturally who kind of comes through as leaders. Um, and over break, I asked our team to consider who they'd want to, you know, have as their captain, uh, who they're willing to, to follow and, and to trust that can lead them in the right direction. Tyler and, and Ben and Brian uh, were able to get those votes from the team. Um, pretty much every guy to a man voted for one, if not uh, all those guys, which was great. Myself as a coach, knowing those guys for a long time, uh, can't be happier about their decision. You guys enter this season ranked nationally at 16th in the conference announcing today you're the preseason favorites. What are your thoughts on the preseason accolades your team is racking up? It means nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing in my mind. Um, preseason, you know, is preseason. Nobody's played a game yet. You know, nobody's had to, to go through, you know, injuries or, you know, long games, you know, four time, you know, four overtime games or anything like that. So um, we'll find out, you know, obviously as the season unfolds, kind of how things are going. Anything can always happen during the course of a season. We just have to stay true to ourselves. We have to understand what we're capable of and what needs to go into our day to day preparations to make sure that we put our best on the field come game day. So you have the national ranking, you have the preseason uh, selection in the conference. They may mean nothing to you, but going into those games, you're going to get every team's best shot because you guys have the target on your back. What's the mentality you're preaching knowing that you're probably going to get everyone's best game when you guys roll in the town? Well, that's what we expect. You know, that's what we've always expected from day one. You know, you don't go into a game thinking that uh, a team's just going to roll over for you or, you know, they're going to come out and just, you know, blow your doors off and you have no shot. You know, we understand, you know, we're an extremely competitive team, but so is everybody else in Division One lacrosse. So we got to be able to, to have that mindset and build that mindset every day in practice that, you know, when you step on the field, you got to be ready to play. Uh, so for us to do that, you know, more often this year, we got to be able to really sharpen our focus, really identify how we need to be much more efficient, both offensively and defensively, and uh, at the faceoff X to, to help us continue to, to improve our program and you know be able to handle you know everybody's best game because you know that's what we expect to put on the field as well. Coach, thanks for taking some time for us today, and we'll see you as the season gets going. Great, thank you. And now let's send it over to Brett Bucari, who's standing with a pair of the Tigers CAA defending team. Thanks, Ben. I'm here with Mike Lowe and Joe Sider, two members of the defending CAA champions. And Mike, I got to start with you today. Uh, you guys are ranked 16th coming into this season. Uh, what are you guys doing on the practice field to uh, prepare for this season? Um, you know, after a big year like that, uh, we come back and everyone's hungry. It's been good to see you know everyone come back. Everyone's in a lot better shape than we have in the years past, and everyone's just working hard immediately. And, and it's a good start. Everyone's coming together, both offensively and defensively. I've seen us take big steps, so we've been grinding pretty much since we got back. And Mike, you were part of a uh, man down unit that was 73% effective last year, which was ranked seventh nationally. What are you guys doing on the practice field to keep that up for this season? Um, we haven't really started with our man down stuff yet, but the things that we do in our practice as far as individuals and whatnot, uh, it kind of translates into that. We work hard on, you know, hedging towards the ball, but still, you know, having your stick in the lane and, and being able to make plays that, you know, maybe it's not your play to make, but, you know, being in the right position to get there and, and make, make sure that, you know, you can help in any way you can. And with, like, Tyler having our backs, you know, and being such a great goaltender, uh, you know, it's really, really good to have a guy like that back there for you. And, Joe, I'm going to go to you next. Uh, last year you led the team with 34 goals as a sophomore. Pretty impressive sophomore run. Um, what are you doing this year to sort of duplicate that or to maybe just top it this year? Um, really, it's, it's a team effort. I mean, it was really the whole team was making ball movement and making the offense easier for the starting guys, especially attack. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I came back this year. I'm really trying to do the same, maybe even better, 
And like, like I was saying, it's, it's more of just the entire offense clicking, and that's what gets the ball in the back of the net. Uh, watching practice this week, you guys have been doing a lot of extra uh, shooting practice. Um, is that some, something that you guys like work to improve on, or how are you guys going to open up lanes for the upcoming season? Yeah, um, we're definitely emphasizing getting our shooting percentage a lot higher. I think last year we were around 25%, and it was like some pretty low number, like 50th in the country. And Coach Claude was really like making us realize like if we can get it to 30%, we can get 10 goals a game. And with our defense, I mean, we won't we won't lose if we get 10 goals a game and our defense playing the way they can. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate your time. Good luck for the upcoming season. And I'm going to toss it over to Brandon Sachs, who has the two senior captains standing with him. Thanks, Brett. I'm here with second year team captain Ben McCarty and third team All-American goalkeeper Tyler White. And Ben, one of the big things about this past year is you had Hodgson, Cuccinello, Mavis and Siskin. They combined for 54 goals, 20 assists. Now that they're gone, how do you replace productivity like that? Well, replacing guys like that isn't really what we're going for. You know what I mean? Those are great guys. They were contributors both on the field and they were great leaders. So what we're going to do is just balance it out. Not one person is going to take over all of that scoring. It's really a balanced attack with us this year. And I think that's kind of our strength. In the midfield, we got a bunch of new guys. Sometimes we got a, some guys who got a little bit of time last year, but definitely some new contributors in the midfield. And our attack, other than Max, comes back with Drenner, Joe, and Spencer back and bouncing back and forth. I think we should uh, be pretty strong on the offensive side of the ball this year. And switching to the defensive side, Tyler, the team as a whole last year had a 764 goals against average, and everyone but JoJo is back. How important is that to, a, to this team to make a run in the postseason this year? Um, it's, it's really huge. We kind of started our team as defense first and then work our way out. I mean, JoJo is incredible, don't get me wrong, but we have a lot of guys that are a year older now and a year wiser, so um, I think that's only going to help. And the camaraderie that we have throughout the defensive unit is just really going to take us as far as we want, I believe. This year you face teams that you've seen before, Ohio State, Hopkins, Loyola, and Georgetown. Georgetown, there you go. They're all nationally ranked again. So how does a team respond to this type of challenge? Well, uh, we really enjoy that challenge. You know, those are the games we get really excited for. Obviously, every game is important, but when you play some nationally ranked teams, especially teams that are only a couple of miles away, it gets you really excited, really pumped up for that week of practice, and you just have to play your best in each one of those games because you know if you have one bad day, it could be a loss. And your first preseason challenge comes on the 30th of the month when you take on Hobart and Bucknell. How ready do you think this team is for those games? Um, I think we're really ready. Um, we're, a, like I said, we're a tight-knit group, and we worked all fall. We had a great fall, um, great preseason, first week of practice. So um, I don't see how, why there's any reason that we shouldn't come out and give them just as much of a run as we could a couple weeks from now. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Good luck in the preseason games and then against in your home opener against Mercer. Thank you. And again, you can catch the men in action on January 30th against Hobart and Bucknell for their first preseason games and then for their season opener against Mercer University.